Welcome, this is lesson 3.4, and we are going to cover the Bessel Studio. Now, when we click on the Bessel Studio, uh, the first thing we need to do is obviously we need to pick the stones. If we only have one, we pick one. If we have two, we pick two, or we can pick one. Uh, for example, I can select this one and form the vessel that I want. We're using all this numbers when i'm happy with that i can either tell it to apply it to all the similar stones or or to all the stones that it finds in the document now obviously sometimes a vessel we create we configure for a round stone is not going to work on another stone but we'll see the example just to get a quick idea of what uh, we can do here i'm going to go ahead and configure this to like point point eight and uh, point eight and maybe over here, uh, four millimeters. Give it a little bit of rounding on the side. A uh, little bit of an angle over here. Oh, too much. There we go. Uh, 16. That looks that looks about right, right there. So we can change everything you want. Make this higher. Make this angle different. Make an angle inside. Make it rounded. You can figure it the way you want. Once you're happy with that, you can click all. And any other stones that it finds is going to add the same vessel with the same configuration we have here. And once you're happy with that, you click OK. And the vessels are added over here. All very simple, right? We can go ahead later on now and add rings and shanks and continue. What I want to show you here is let me go back. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one, for example. I'm going to work with this one to show you a couple of more advanced features. I'm going to go ahead and open the studio again. I'm going to go ahead and select. And I'm going to go to Ghost Transparency right here. I'm going to click on the Bessel Studio and click Select, pick the stone. And here's our stone. Uh, let's go with a few adjustments here 0 0.75, uh, 0 0.75. We'll do 4.25. A little bit of round, roundness over here. And maybe some angling over here. Ooh, too much. Maybe right around there. That's, that's good. Now, what I want to do is now that I have this here configured, you know, notice that we have another tab here. And with this tab, I can enable divisions. When I do that, notice that this division that is shown here, the default shape, is shown right there. Uh, now I can change the size, the, the, the number of divisions. Notice that now by default it has four. Uh, so it's all very simple, right? But what I want to do is I want to add my own divisions, right? So I want to use my shape that i drawn over here. So I'm going to select curve and pick that one. And notice that it has changed now to my own, my own curve. And now I can very easily decide, okay, I want that to be uh, maybe uh, five. Yeah, it looks good by uh, 5.5. So you can change the size and notice, notice, notice the change. Notice that now I created a sort of a claw vessel instead of a regular rounded full covering vessel. Now the stone is much more visible, much more, uh, you know, this is very common for earrings and you know, stuff like that. You know, now, uh, very simple. I'm very happy with this vessel right now. So, for example, if I was, you know, if I like this vessel and I want to keep it, it's very simple. All I have to do is go over here, right click in the empty space here, and save it. And every time I save one, it adds it to the list here. And in the future, when I go back in here to my library, to my stuff, I would have all the list of all the vessels that I've done before, 
that I've saved and I'll be able to load them back up with all the measurements and everything that I had before and it will apply them to the select stone. Comes in very handy. So remember, save your vessels once you configure them. Another thing that's very important here is when you have a, a, this curve that I've used for the division, if you don't add it to the library, and you're going to learn how to do that later, uh, you need to keep this, this line here, this curve here within your document, or else uh, it's going to lose the shape because it's not going to know what to read it from. So uh, make sure you keep your, uh, your curve so you don't have an issue with that later. And once you're happy with the vessel, we can click OK. And there's our vessel and our stone. And the last thing I want to show you, which is real nice, is if I now choose a stone and decide, well, I changed my mind. I'm going to select this stone here. I'm going to go ahead and edit it to something different. Maybe I don't no longer want it to be a round stone. I want it to be uh, one of these guys here. So I pick that and I go to update. And guess what? The vessel will go ahead and update at the same time. Because uh, remember, the, all the fleximetric technology that has been added to Rhino Gold allows us to have that those functionalities. Uh, anything made from a stone uh, will follow when you edit the stone. You know, making it very easy for you to design and then make changes uh, later on.